Gee, you're so quiet today. I wish someone would call to sell me something. You can see it puts a red dot on his hand. Okay, go ahead. It shows that the basis of the capitalistic system is private property. It happened when Eleanor and I went down to get the things for the class weenie roast. We needed weenies. Mr. Brown had weenies. It's as simple as that. A series of dates frozen on tape after the intellectuals partial to young flesh and those partial to dead meat. We now have intellectuals partial to frozen meat. A series of dates frozen on tape. 2007, in India, Burger King repackages the sacred cow. 1839, savage photography begins. We laugh at the myth of the savage, the savage who believed that photographs stole the subject's soul. But who will have the last laugh in the age of the replicant? Media sickness more contagious than AIDS. 360 BC, Plato writes the Republic, a blueprint for the ultimate ordered society. There will be strict class distinctions. A noble lie will be propagated that these distinctions are based on natural attributes given by the gods. Everyone will be taught a convenient fiction. There will be strict censorship to ensure mental health. No one will be allowed to teach that Zeus is responsible for both evil as well as good. Poetry will be banned. 2004, Band Aid 20. In the remake, the victims must have more flies around their mouths and their bellies must be more swollen and the assembled pop stars must have more concern on their faces. Humanism is dead. It has been superseded by humanitarianism. Everyone will be taught a convenient fiction. Media sickness, more contagious than AIDS. 1785, Jeremy Bentham invents the panopticon, a type of prison where the observer can always observe the prisoner without the prisoner being aware of being observed. The sentiment of an invisible omniscience. 1886, the panopticon reaches even into our sleeping hours. The all-seeing eye of the Holy Father, Sigmund Freud, develops rod envy. Spare the rod and... you are taking your mother away on a holiday, David. I hate him. I'll kill him. Oh, I love him. Mr. Cooper, I'll go and see Mr. Robertson again. Thank you for letting me explain. All soft cops are bastards. Psychoanalysis has your unconscious under surveillance. You will medicate for the master race. You will meditate for MasterCard. You will shop at the Delhi Lama. And the poorer section of the people of jealousy frustration and resentment that transform violence or anger violence i whenever you see this subject used to come i always used to see sharing now the poorer section people instead of frustration work hard put 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 her the effort for education training it is a plan to boost science, skills, self-employment. A plan to improve training, technology, tax incentives. And with self-confidence, the richer side provide equipment, facilities. So that's the way to reduce this gap. But to me, this is what it means. It means the man who's lost his job and lost his confidence, saying again, yes. Not some of the socialist sort of reform sort of city uh, practice uh, that uh, sometimes you see, create a lot of, of difficulties, a lot of hatred among the people. 
work hard. 2010 Bangladeshi police attack garment worker, protesters and activists. Work hard. As Mr Islam and the workers ascended the staircase to the Labour Director's office, 30 to 35 National Security Intelligence Police arrived from a back entrance and detained Mr Islam along with three workers. According to Mr Islam's testimony, the officers blindfolded him and beat him and threatened to kill him in an attempt to extort false testimony against BCWS. Work hard! Why did you stop work at the garment factories, NSI officers demanded of Mr Islam. If you just say Babel and Kaplona, leaders of the BCWS, asked you to stop work at the factory, then we will set you free. Work hard! When Mr Islam responded that the BCWS never told workers to stop working, work hard! He was beaten unconscious. They were hurting me at the joints of the bones of my body. My arms, knees, joints were their targets. Mr Islam's testimony continues in excruciating detail, describing the beatings and threats to kill him and orphan his children and cover up his killing in a so-called crossfire accident. Mr Islam is exhausted as he ends his testimony. Now I am living in extreme anxiety, he says. I don't even know what I should do now. I can't walk. I can't even move because of the pain that I got from the beating. I can't sleep. Nightmares of torture won't let me sleep. What? 2011. A reality TV remake of 101 Days in Sodom. Bono, Sting, Geldof, Mandela and Lama take their victims to an unspecified house. The victims are subjected to a process of affirming the transcendental nature of their victimhood. The helots can only say yes. It is only the elite that may say no. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. He agreed to give us extra service, deliver everything in his truck. And since we didn't have enough cars, he agreed to make another trip and take a lot of the kids out to the picnic. 